Hello and welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Christy Demers, a scientific director at Queen's Infertility Group. And today I'm going to take you through the process of semen analysis and what it's used to measure. So what is a semen analysis? This is a really important first step um, that a couple can use when they're trying to get pregnant. And it's a male fertility test and it uses a microscope to examine a semen sample in great detail. And there are a few different components of this test that the scientists carry out on the semen sample. I'd like to take you through the different parts of that and explain why they're important. The first thing we measure is sperm concentration. This measures how many sperm there are in the sample and is also sometimes known as the sperm count. The number of sperm, as I'm sure you can appreciate, is really important. It's important to measure because if this number is low, this may be why a couple is having trouble conceiving. This is actually measured in millions of sperm per mil of sample. The next thing we measure that's also important is called sperm motility. And this is a measure of how many of the sperm in a sample are moving and also how, how fast they're moving. And again, this is very important to measure as this measures the ability of the sperm to swim. And if very few sperm are swimming well, then this can actually affect fertility because the sperm will not be able to swim to the egg, for example. If we see that sperm motility is very low, then we carry out a test called sperm vitality. And this measures how many of those sperm are actually alive in the sample. The next thing we measure is morphology. And this is how the sperm look down the microscope. So looking at their shape and size. The reason we look at sperm morphology in detail is that the shape of the sperm is linked to the sperm's ability to fertilize an egg. So one interesting fact is that most sperm are actually abnormally shaped in most samples. And even a sample with only 5% normal looking sperm is within the normal range of samples. The other things that we measure in the sample are volume, so how much of the sample is produced, and viscosity, which is how thick the sample is. And both of those measurements can be a very important indicator of fertility. There's some other less frequent tests that are carried out, and they may be requested by your fertility specialist. For example, measuring whether there's any sperm antibody binding, or if there are levels of DNA damage in the sperm. However, these tests are less common and not usually carried out in an initial analysis. So what type of report can I expect following my semen analysis? The semen analysis result will usually be produced and sent to your doctor within at least 24 hours of your procedure. The results of your sample will be, will be compared with normal values, which are known as a WHO or World Health Organization reference values. And this is just an important comparison tool for us to use when looking at the results of your test. Like I said at the beginning, this is a very important test that should be carried out as a first step if you're keen to start a family. What happens after the analysis? The results of this test will be sent to your fertility specialist and they can use it to help advise you on which treatment, if any, might be right for you. So some treatment options include the following. If your sperm concentration or motility is low in the sample, then your fertility specialist might recommend the use of ICSI. ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. And this is when an individual sperm is selected and injected by the scientist directly into the egg as part of the IVF procedure. Another option is what's known as testicular sperm aspiration. And this may be recommended for patients who have very little or no sperm in their sample. This is instead when sperm is taken directly from the testes. Another option is what's called microepididymal sperm aspiration. And this is for very difficult cases when it's very hard to get hold of a semen sample. But this is something your fertility specialist can speak through in much more detail. How do I go about booking a semen analysis? The best way to get a semen analysis is to see your GP or fertility specialist who can refer you to an andrology lab for testing. So yes, to carry out this out, the scientist does need to get a semen sample first. And it's also important for the scientist to be able to examine the semen sample not too long after production, as a sample can change over time. I hope you now have a better understanding of semen analysis and how it works. Thanks for watching. For more videos on all things fertility, feel free to subscribe to Fertile Minds.